Hi and welcome to Lincolnshire Fen Crafts needle felting tutorials. This is a tutorial for complete beginners. Um, whether you've never crafted before, never needle felted before, it really doesn't matter. You may think you don't have a creative bone in your body. I'm going to prove you wrong. Needle felting is an amazing craft and all of these things you see here all start from one simple shape and that is a basic body shape it is what all of this is built around so this is your basic body shape here as you can see on this winter hair here basic body shape we've got this sort of greedy mouse with a fat tummy again everything built around this basic body shape uh, the penguin even the gnome a very simple shape built up here with everything um, attached to it and we've got this gorgeous lop-eared rabbit with this little knitted scarf and again a really simple shape and I'm going to show you how to create that shape and how easy um, it is to do and it's really important because it's the scaffolding for everything else we attach now what you will need is you will need a felting mat it can be a hessian mat this is filled with rice it can just be a wool felt um topper like this because we're doing 3d felting we're not really we're not going to do any flat felting you can just use this as a as a, a rest to protect your needle and the surface or what many of you will have and what i use in my kits is the um is the foam mat um the only thing i'd say with whatever you use always pop a topper on it to protect the mat it will make the mat lasts 10 times longer easily save you having to replace it and much more eco-friendly now you will need just one needle and there's a range of needles don't get confused by them once you've started needle felting and you want to know more about it then you can pop onto my blog guide. I have an ultimate needle felting guide and there's a whole section on needles there. But I love my favourite, and it has been for the last um, 10 years, is uh, the 38 Star. It's just a standard, good all-rounder. You can create a piece from start to finish with it. Uh, 36 is also good. Um, the higher the number, the finer the needle. So 36 is a bit more robust. And that's really good for starting your projects. But if you want something that will do the whole thing, then a 38 star or triangle is, is a, a good way to go. And I always use good European needles because they're just so much easier to felt with. They make the job a lot easier. And especially if you're starting out, um, they're not needles are not cheap. They're expensive, but they're not cheap either. Um, and that's why if you use a 38, it's pretty robust. So there's much less chance of you breaking it. Really good needle that. You only need the one to get started. Now I don't use finger protectors because they just annoy me. But if you're really worried about poking yourself with the needle, then you can get these little leather or um, PVC sort of finger guards. So when you're actually holding the project, then you're not going to poke your fingers but I'm kind of used to it now it doesn't hurt for long um so let's have a look what have we got wool so many different types of wool don't get confused use a good coarse wool I'm of course using British wool because I'm in the UK and this is a beautiful grey Jacob top it's a wool top you get carded wool as well either will work but this is is just such a lovely coarse wool. Again, I've been using this wool for 10 years and I've never tired of it. Absolutely love it. And it's um, it felts really quickly. It firms up really well and it doesn't show any needle marks because it's got a nice, really sort of coarse surface. Again, the blog guide has a, a complete wool guide on there and a little sort of handy chart to the sheep breeds if you're that way inclined. So please feel free to pop over. There's some free printables over there as well. So you can have a look down below and I'll, I'll pop all the, the links for you. And if you want to keep up to date with all my new tutorials, then just uh, subscribe below. Right, let's get going then. So I don't think I'm going to need all of that. So I'm just going to, when you pull your wool apart, keep your hands slightly apart. Because it's wool top, if you have them too close, you won't be able to pull it. Because all the um, scales of the wool lock together. So just the hands apart. And you see how easily that comes away. 
lay it on your mat and we're going to create a simple sort of barrel shape um, as the, the base for our, our project. And this is what you will use for so many of your needle projects. In fact, probably all of them to start with. And you see, what I'm doing is I'm rolling it really tight. I'm just going to unwrap that again. Get that tucked in really tight. Because if you do this, it reduces the needle felting time so much. And I'm all about speed. The quicker the job gets done, the quicker I can get onto the next one. My next needle felting project. So really firm. Can you see how firm that is? If you have it loose and you're just rolling it up like this and it's all squidgy, it's going to take an eternity to shape and you're not going to get a good finished shape. So it really does need to be firm. I can't stress that enough when you're using this method. So pull that out and tuck those ends in as you go. See, so keeping it nice and firm. And remember, when you're starting, you're going to get it wrong. If you don't get it wrong, you're not learning. So your first project or two is, is probably not going to turn out exactly the way you envisaged it, envisaged it. But that's OK, that's good, because the next one will. And every single project you make, you learn. And it's so quick to learn. You can learn the basics really, really, really easily. Really easily. No skill required. If you've got a, a, a if you've got a bucket load of enthusiasm, then you are good to go. And there we go. Can you see? I'm hardly using this needle. And what this needle is doing is with these little barbs, it's tangling all the fibres together. And can you see? You can just draw that wool up. And always start with less wool than you think you need. You can add more wool but once you've felted it you can't take it away so it's always better to start with less Just turn that around keep going and just poke around the entire piece just keep it moving as well that's another good tip keep it moving you don't want to flatten areas and create sort of dimples and misshapen areas. And we've just got this little bit of loose wool here. So I'm just going to pull that around. And now I'm going diagonally. Just to flatten these edges and to um, firm up the surface. You see how I'm shaping it? And if you were, say, making the hair, then we'll narrow the top part and flatten the base for the bottom. Keep going. Just keep it turning. And we're almost there with this. And that is a super easy way to create a base for your project. And if you've got a multi-tool like this one, you could speed up the project, uh, the process to flatten it. You don't need it, but if you're making, you know, if you're doing a lot of things, especially if you're running a business or you're selling them at craft fairs, then obviously you're going to invest in these in these multi-tools because they do speed up the job but there's there are video tutorials telling you um what tools are available how to use them um just have a look on the playlists and there we go that's a really simple basic shape and from there you can decide whether that's going to be big enough you can make a small hair from that um you can build that up add more but we can also if it's a bit if you think it's a bit be, or you want a really thin sort of long hair you can actually roll that in your hands and you see how that stretched that out and then we felt again
just to firm up anything that we've made loose and then we go back to this base again I'm going to use my multi tool just to speed it up for you and then that should sit quite nicely on its own and can you see what that is that is the base Sorry, the the yes, the base, the, the the structure of your your project. You know, whatever animal you're making, or gnome, or creature, and then you can just pop the the head on. There is a tutorial on how to make the head. There's a tutorial on how to make the ears and the legs and putting it all together. So I've broken it down into super simple steps for you. And like I said, if you've never needle felt it before, don't worry about it. Just allow yourself to be a beginner. Most importantly, just crack on with it and really enjoy it. You will be making these in no time. And it really is one of the most addictive and rewarding crafts that you can um, that you can um, take on. It's brilliant. So I hope that really helped get you started. A few simple sort of tips, but if you want more in-depth um, ideas or information, like I said, you can do uh, just subscribe and have a look at all the video tutorials that are there and available um, pop over to my ultimate needle felting guide which is the Lincolnshire Fen Crafts blog so thank you for joining me hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you next time